Hey everybody, did it really here? Thank you so much for joining me for the very first episode of Owen Chester's Route in Lost Alice. I know I said I was going to do Luke first, but Owen just came out and I really wanted to get him on his, uh, well, I wanted to get him on his first day out, but actually it happened today, which is Sunday, but it's late at night right now, so I won't have time to edit it and put it up until tomorrow, which for you all right now is today. But anyway, <laughs> we're going to be choosing him. All right, so let's get started with the chess king here. You all can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. I am absolutely certain. Let's start a new romance now. Owen Chester, Chapter 1 Where am I? The unfamiliar view came into my sight as I opened my eyes. It seemed I was inside of the castle. Where exactly am I? I slowly sat up on the bed. I looked around the luxuriously decorated room and tilted my head as I took stock of my predicament. Why am I even here? I seemed to have fallen into a deep sleep. I couldn't comprehend the situation at all. I'm pretty sure I was talking to Luke after encountering him in the forest, wasn't I? When I was trying to remember what happened before I passed out. Ah, are you awake? The sweet and low voice was heard from a surprisingly close distance. The young man gently took my hand in his and placed a kiss on the back. I felt something funny in response to his extremely gentle voice. Welcome to my castle, Alice. Uh, I shifted my focus from the owner of the voice to the gorgeous room. I instantly lost my words. He's so beautiful. I must agree. In fact, let's take a closer look. Ah. I was mesmerized by his lovely features. He gently regarded me with beautiful gray eyes, yet exuded the dignity of a lion. His smile was very kind. Still, he had an indescribable, mysterious aura around him. His mere presence was somehow commanding. I suppose you could say he possessed charisma. I don't remember anything up until this point, but... I could say without a doubt that I've never met anyone like him. How unique he was. And hot. The young man spoke no more, instead smiling as if he were waiting for me to make the next move. <sighs> I returned his steady gaze. Although his smile seemed kind, I wasn't ready to trust him, as you shouldn't. That's a wise choice. You called this place yours. Are you a king or a prince? Which do you think? Instead of answering my question, he amused himself by turning the tables on me. Judging from his demeanor, he's either a king or a prince, right? He continued to smile, giving no indication of what he was thinking. It seemed possible that neither of those were the right answer. I took a moment to think and finally answered. Uh, I'm going to guess a king because we know he's the king. Because uh, I don't think there's a guide out yet. Actually, let me take a look. Nope, no walkthrough yet, so yeah, we're going to have to guess here, and hopefully it's king. Hmm, I would have to say a king. After thinking it over, I made my choice. What can I say? You look arrogant, like you're the king of the world. My response prompted his eyes to narrow with intrigue. You think he's a king, yet you called him arrogant. Arrogant, huh? Have I been rude to you in any way? Oh, that's not what I meant. It's just that... You look like you have complete confidence in yourself. Well, confidence is different than arrogance. He seemed to have an inner strength that was unflappable. He had the impression of a dignified king that oversaw his own country. I see. That's an interesting presumption. My answer must have pleased him, for he nodded in satisfaction. The young man faced directly toward me again and bowed politely. I am Chess King Owen Chester, ruler of the Chess Kingdom. Pleased to meet you, Owen. Ah. This is a room inside my castle, the Castle of Chess. The Castle of Chess! Woohoo! The Chess Kingdom, the Castle of Chess. Now I found out my location, but knit my brows in confusion. Well, my intimacy level went up. I made the best choice. Hooray! It was a good guess. Oh, and I got Owen's body. Gotta love getting people's bodies in these things. Yes, I want to buy Owen's body. Now, let's let's wear it. Let's wear Owen's body. You're mine now, Owen. And you're going to have to just stay in that checkered underwear, because I don't have anything else for you to wear yet. Not that I'm doing much better with this little skiff I'm wearing. But don't worry, I shall rectify that soon, probably off-screen. Let's go to our avatar item checkpoint. Bring it on! 
what does that mean? I'm pretty sure I recall being somewhere else. I was in the forest until a moment ago. I summoned you here. I was eager to meet Alice. You summoned me? Aside from the wording of the phrase, there was something else that bothered me. Come to think of it, you called me Alice earlier, too. What's wrong with calling you Alice? Well, I'm not Alice. You must be confusing me with someone else. My name is Iris. I regarded him steadily, resolved to make my point. But Towin didn't falter in the least. Instead, he responded with a smile. You're Alice, there's no doubt about it. Don't tell me who I am! <sighs> he spoke with absolute conviction, leaving me momentarily speechless. And then I remembered what happened right before I passed out. This is really getting on my nerves. First, I wake up in a strange cave. Next, everyone I meet is calling me Alice. I don't know who this Alice is that they're mistaking me for, but... They're not mistaken. I was overcome by uncertainty at the sudden authority in his voice. What do you mean? The reason everyone calls you Alice is you decided that you wanted to be Alice. Ugh. I couldn't ask why. Something in my head was telling me that what he was saying was undeniably true. Unable to reply, I fell silent. Despite my reaction, Owen remained the ultimate gentleman. Aww. Ah, there we go. We actually have clothes for him now. Woohoo! You don't have to be in your skivvies anymore, Owen. I'd like for you to dine with me this evening. I'll send a maid for you when it's time. Uh, ouch! As soon as Owen said the word time, my head started to throb. What is it? Are you all right, Alice? Owen shot me a look of concern, but... It was apparent that he had every intention of treating me as Alice. I'm fine. Just leave me alone. I rebuffed his concern, despite cringing from the pain. Then I'll give you your wish. Until later. With those words, he moved away from the bed and exited the room. And I was left alone. Eventually, a maid came to my room and led me to what appeared to be a banquet hall. A luxurious feast was spread out on the table, and the silverware was shined to perfection. Alice, it appears you're not feeling well, but... Taking in my pallor... Owen smiled wryly as he addressed me. I have a good reason not to feel well. I knew he was concerned, but all I could do was glare at him. They all welcomed me. The maid who came to notify me of dinner, as well as the soldiers I met along the way. No, not really me to be precise. They welcomed Alice. I've never felt so uncomfortable in my life. Each time someone welcomed me with a smile and called me Alice, I felt conflicting emotions. I had a name, Iris. Yet, no one seemed to be interested in calling me by it. <sighs> Including him. Owen regarded me with interest as I sighed and related my experience. The look he gave me said, You should just give in and admit that you're Alice. Maybe I was just being paranoid, but that's what it felt like to me. Well, first impressions. You seem to be troubled, but I really wish you would simply enjoy the meal. How can I when I have no memories? It's a night to be celebrated since it marks the day of our meeting. His kind words were like honey, eroding my resistance. Am I really going to stand for this? I questioned myself before I answered him. Suddenly, he whispered, You don't seem to realize that you're Alice. Could it be that you've completely forgotten what happened in the past? I saw no reason to hide anything about my amnesia, so I nodded in response to his question. Yes, that's correct. I don't even know my left from my right. Is that really true? Hearing about the chess kingdom and the chess king means nothing to me because I have no idea of their significance. I'm sorry for not being able to give you the appropriate response. There's no need to apologize. It's not your respect that I want, Alice. What is it? You want my body? Seeing Owen's unfailing smile, I... Uh, another choice already? Um, what is it that you want, Owen? I just don't see the reason to say I'm not Alice, but we'll see. Crossing my fingers here. Respect wasn't what he wanted from Alice. Then what exactly do you want from Alice, Owen? My question was an attempt to hear what Owen had to say and read between the lines to uncover the truth. He must have appreciated my attitude. His eyes narrowed in satisfaction and he replied without guile. What I want is for Alice to fulfill her duty as Alice. I don't understand. What is Alice's duty? As long as you're Alice, you'll eventually find out. Then, why don't you just tell me now? 
I sought a definite answer since all this uncertainty left me feeling unbalanced. Don't be so rushed, Alice. But Owen didn't seem the least bit concerned about my feeling. Instead, he smiled wider as if he found it funny. To be honest, I was frustrated that he was unwilling to give me an answer, but... There's no need to be hasty. Let me start by telling you what you need to know now. Owen so effortlessly steered the course of the conversation that I quietly listened. Yay, I guess the right choice again. Let's keep going with that, please. And somebody make a walkthrough, please. So I don't have to keep guessing. <laughs> this world is called Wonderland. The Chess Kingdom is mainly made up of the Castle of Chess, where you and I are located now, as well as the City of Light and the City of Sorrow. Bordering the Chess Kingdom is the land ruled by the Queen of Hearts. The land ruled by the Queen of Hearts, huh? I tried to remember as much as I could while Owen was telling me in detail about Wonderland. There are many other places in Wonderland. I'll tell you about the rest some other time, next. All of the residents of the world can use magic. All of them? Did you say magic? Yes, it's a mystic power that makes it possible to do things that are normally physically impossible. Of course, since you're also a resident of Wonderland, you can use magic freely, but... The extent to which you are able to use it depends upon the magical power you possess. Your magic will be limited until you grow accustomed to using it. Yeah, so you gotta practice and level up. Oh, I bet you're good at magic, too. I murmured the words without thinking as I listened to his explanation. What else do you think I'm good at? Uh, why would you ask that? Uh, in bed? No comment. Owen gave me a puzzled look, but I just shook my head. What can I say? Controlling the conversation, or perhaps deceiving women? Better yet, how about whispering sweet words of seduction, or driving them wild with that voice? He didn't just seem good, he was no doubt a master. I only had to reflect on how I felt upon waking up in that room. I honestly have to wonder if he had any faults. The chess king appeared to be versed in both letters and arms. He appeared to be capable of anything. Ah, uh, that's right. I forgot to mention that you have a house in Wonderland, Alice. It was made for you. I can take you there sometime if you'd like. <sighs> the residents of Wonderland have all been eagerly awaiting your arrival, Alice. Everyone will be happy to see you. It would appear so. I think back to how the maids reacted and nodded my head absent-mindedly. I gather from what he was saying that Owen was determined to treat me as Alice. The same, no doubt, applied to the residents of Wonderland. Regardless of how I felt about it, to him I was Alice. Alice? I think I'll go get some fresh air. The food was so delicious, I might have overindulged. I stood up from my seat. I turned my back to Owen before he could respond and walked out of the banquet hall. Huh. As you can hear, I still have this freaking cold. I placed my hands on the rail of the balcony and released a heavy sigh. The view of the chess kingdom below me was distinctly divided into the City of Light and the City of Sorrow, but... The houses were beautifully arranged, and the faint sound of revelry could be heard, giving me the sense that he was a competent ruler. Just then I heard muted footsteps behind me. He must have been trying to alert me to his presence without startling me. Alice... Alice. <laughs> I'm not going to answer you. You call me Iris or I'm not answering. I sensed him sigh with a smile when I ignored him and continued to regard the lights illuminating the view. It's unbecoming of a lady to ignore someone by pretending not to hear them, don't you think? It's also unbecoming of a man to call a woman another name. Well, I whirled around as if I had been struck and glared at him. I hardly think it's gentlemanly behavior to call a lady by someone else's name, wouldn't you agree? Owen seemed slightly taken aback by my sudden outburst. Still, that was the extent of his reaction, and he proceeded to speak slowly, as if he was trying to be persuasive. But you are Alice. You might not remember, but you chose to become Alice. In which case, you shall fulfill your duty. <sighs> I refused to look away from those gray eyes as I carefully considered my response. The way you see it, I must not have fulfilled my duty in the least. Then, as the chess king, you must have been fulfilling your duty admirably, am I right? Yes, I believe so. Why? Perhaps a logical approach would appeal to him better. With slight hope in my mind, I tried to explain to him as calmly as I could. But the name chess king only refers to your position, not to you as an individual. 
You are Owen, as much as you are the chess king. Hmm. He nodded languidly as he listened to my reasoning. I wish to be afforded the same courtesy. I may have chosen to be Alice, but my real name is Iris. I understand what you're trying to say. Owen revealed no hint of frustration or uncertainty as he nodded in understanding. It's true that we might have been so euphoric over your much-anticipated arrival that we neglected to consider your feelings as an individual, especially since it was your choice to become Alice. But I don't remember that. How do I even know it's the truth? We were convinced that you would be just as overjoyed to be treated as Alice, so we didn't expect any resistance. Alice is very special to Wonderland. Any disrespect in not treating Alice as Alice reflects badly on all of us. What do you mean? It means that we can be punished for calling you Iris instead of referring to you properly as Alice. And that's one of the rules of Wonderland. Ugh. His matter-of-factly delivery left me speechless. Even though I was confused, I quickly spoke. I if that's the case, please feel free to call me Alice. I don't mind any more. Then Owen looked at me with wonder. Are you sure? Yes, I couldn't bear it if someone were to be punished for heeding my wishes. I had no intention of standing my ground at the expense of somebody else. I am afraid I don't understand. You are so adamant about not being called Alice. He continued to speak with his brows furrowed in confusion. That's because I didn't know. I mean, I had forgotten the rules of Wonderland. As long as I can tolerate the situation, no one needs to be punished, right? It might be a bit uncomfortable, but if that's what it takes to eliminate the threat of punishment, that's much more preferable. <laughs> he gently rubbed his chin as if he were considering something. Eventually, he lowered his hand and smiled softly. We stayed out too long. Aren't you feeling cold, Iris? Shall we return to the hall? Huh? Well, I couldn't hide my surprise when he suddenly called me Iris. Uh, Owen, didn't you say you would be punished if you called me Iris? Well, he is the king. Who's going to punish him? Who do you think I am? He sent me a cheeky grin and spoke with an air of authority. I am the chess king, Owen. I fear no one, not even Wonderland. I was impressed by a woman who was so determined to defy the rules of Wonderland. The residents of Wonderland might not have a choice of calling you Alice, but I, for one, am happy to accept you as you are. Why, thank you, Owen. And that is, you are Iris, and you have merely been placed in the role of Alice. Owen. He was willing to accept me as Iris. As soon as the truth hit me, I broke out into a smile and thanked him profusely. Thank you, Owen. That makes me so happy. Well, at least somebody's on my side here. He smiled indulgently and held out his hand to escort me. Now, let us return to our meal before it gets any later. You didn't seem to have much of an appetite earlier. Thanks to you, my appetite is back to normal. But what time is it now? Are you worried about the time? I'm late. I'm late for a very important date. Huh? If you like, I'll give you a pocket watch. What is going on? Every time I heard the words time or clock, my head started to hurt. Iris? Does it have something to do with the white rabbit? I'm all right. It's nothing. Hearing the concern in his voice, I managed to look up and straighten my posture. But I could not hide my pale face that caused Owen to furrow his brows. You must be chilled from the night air. Let me have someone prepare a warm drink for you right away. As soon as he spoke, he put his arm around me and led me into the hall. Now that I think about it, I recall the onset of a headache upon hearing the word time right after I awoke. Is it just a coincidence, or... I felt a little uneasy as I returned inside with Owen. Preview Welcome, Alice. This is where we introduce the next page. I'm the first one up, but someone else might appear the next time around, so you'll have something to look forward to. Now, let's take a sneak peek at the next page. Uh, my head started to throb as soon as the young man mentioned the word time. It's happening again. What's going on here? Iris, allow me to introduce you. This is Sid. When the young man noticed me as I followed, he glanced at me with his orange-colored eyes. Owen came closer and brushed the cloth away, grabbing me from my hiding place. Uh-oh, we were hiding from Owen? Owen! He pulled me up and locked me inside his arm from behind. 
Did you think you could escape me? Uh-oh. Did he become Yandere? Owen's voice rang against my ear. Despite my predicament, his manly voice with a sweet tone caused a shiver to run down my spine. Huh. So, Alice is with the Chess King. They looked like they were having fun. In any case, I wonder, why does Alice have such an extreme reaction upon hearing the word time? Maybe we'll find out in the next page. Maybe, but we'll find out in the next video, because... Well, I've been recording for a while, but I know a lot of it's going to cut out, get cut out because uh, I went through a lot of, you know, a lot of advertisement screens and stuff like that. And I got to do a bit of setting up. So I don't know. This might have been a little bit of a short video. But uh, yeah, I'll take care to make the next one longer. Like I said, I got to get things set up and everything. So I will be seeing you as soon as I can. So hope to see you soon for some more Owen Chester action here. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. Day really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.